Hi, it's Thursday the 22nd of January. It's... Nah, it's not third weekend. It's New Year, is it? Yeah, it certainly is. Um, this week I've basically been not so much active with my games, um, but a bit, um, I managed to get my bike repaired. I've got all my bits for my bike that I needed, basically. I was an idiot when I bought my wheels and I didn't get any rim tape. So I've punctured about four inner tubes since the beginning of the year due to that. But I've got um, rim tape now, so that's fixed. Um, and I've got more inner tubes and oh, what's the other thing? new set of lights. But that's all that. Um, Skyrim went up on Tuesday, obviously. But I've run into a snag with it. I miscalculated how much um, actual playtime I had left because I was just looking at the raw footage length. And I forgot about having to cut out all the load times. I've only got about a minute left of fo footage, so I've got to redo that, which should be fun. Um, but well, not fun, but I've got to start recording again, which I should be able to do tomorrow. Um, I shouldn't delay any time, obviously, tomorrow. I've still got then five days to get all of the. To get it edited down. I only need to do, get at least one episode done by next Tuesday. But. Obviously, I'm off next week, so I've got all the weekend to do whatever I want. Um, I've been playing Castle Crashes again, but on the PC this time, and quite far. I've got two heroes up to level 12, so quite tough for that. Um, and I also got into the Heroes of the Storm beta, you know, the new Blizzard um, MOBA. It's, I'm finding it quite interesting. I've got um, my footage rec recorded, and might put it up, might not, might just keep it for like review purposes. Could do a review of it, I suppose, but um, it is really interesting. It's like, so uh, the way I'm feeling it at the moment for me, it's kind of League of Legends meets Diablo with a timed level up system. I know, because basically, in League of Legends and Dota, of course, as you kill creeps and enemy heroes, you level up. Um, and obviously, if your team gets a big advantage and starts killing all of them at the beginning, you get obviously you're fed, and you get like at 10 minutes you've got a five level lead. Not good for the enemy team, and because you can't catch up from that, rarely can you catch up from that anyway. Because killing on your own, killing the play, player five levels higher than you is a bit hard. But in Heroes of the Storm, it works the same still. Killing creeps and heroes gets you experience, but your experience whether you're killing or not constantly goes up anyway and it's team wide so and so basically when you level up your team also all levels up so there's not going to be any unbalanced team play where someone's under leveled on the team which is a very sounds very casual like but it's ba very balancing for the game because obviously while you're doing that the other enemy team's still doing that whereas in League and Dota you, if you can hold off on your own that's good but you don't exactly level up by holding off. In this, if you can hold off long enough, obviously the enemy team won't be getting the extra experience to the thing, so you can actually catch up to them by killing more creeps than them and catch and holding them back, stopping them killing you, you can at least catch up to them easier than you can in Dota and League, which is metagame is very balancing. Not sure how it's gonna work in the long run metagame, but it should be good fun. Um, yeah, it's enough for Heroes of Storm. I'll save this for a rainy day. Um, I've got more Tomb Raider footage recorded. I've got to um, actually edit that down soon. I'm about two hours into the game. No, three? Th two or three hours into the game, so that's more episodes to d make, maybe. I'm trying to think, I might do it because it's a fairly long game. Quite, It's got quite a lot of cutscenes, so I don't want to do like, a 20 minute segment because most of it will be cutscene. But I don't want to do 30 minutes, it might be too long. So, I'm try trying to figure out the right length at the moment as well. Because obviously, I don't want to cut in the middle of a cutscene or in the middle of an action area. So, I've either got to cut the beginning of a cutscene or the end of a cutscene. And finding one that the correct time stamp is a bit funny. Because I want to keep them sort of all uniform length. But, I'll come across that. Um, anime wise, this week, I've not done much at all. I mean, I bought. Um, the first four volumes of Nanatsu no Taizai, or Seven Deadly Sins in English, um, 
I've got issue one in Jap I've got volume one in Japanese anyway, but I've got volume one, two, three, and four in um, English. Um, I also started watching it because um, obviously, ugh, I think it was November or December. It they released it as an anime, 24 episode anime adaptation, and we're on episode 13 at the moment. Weekly, actually, no, it's probably probably was about October they released it actually, but that so far it's sticking quite close to the um, anime to the manga. Um, I mean, from what I've read of the manga anyway, the manga is differing, but not differing at all much from the anime. A few word changes, but I think that's only because of the, obviously, the people subbing the anime and the people that, obviously the big people that translated the manga over. But that's re a really good anime. It's a bit fan service in parts, but not, not as bad fan service wise as like uh, your High School of the Dead or High School DxD. Nowhere near as fan servicey as those. It's sort of just like one character in it is a complete and utter perv. So he kind of just thing, and the person he pervs over doesn't seem to mind. And I think there's a lot sort of a love relationship between them, or there will be later maybe. Because I say I'm not, I've only read the um, first two novels so so far, but that's quite good. Um, I also watched the first episode of Mayu Mao Yusha. Um, I'm not sure what the English title of that is actually, but because even on my DVD it says Mao Yu Mao Yusha. So um, basically, the de got hero, big hero goes to kill the Demon King. Turns out Demon King is a title. It's actually a fairly buxom, um, long redhead girl, and she's nice. And she is the daughter of the old Demon King, but she's no longer but she's obviously just Demon King by title but she shows him sort of the future and what's going to happen if the war continues going on and what will happen if he does what he's meant to and stops the war not well kills her and basically it ends up economically for the humans keeping the war ongoing is actually better because they're currently united as one nation against the demons so they're not killing each other whereas if the demons disappear from the realm they're going to go to killing each other. Much like we've done. I suppose. I suppose if we had demons and dragons and things, we'd be out killing them, wouldn't we? Not each other. I mean, no point in raging wars. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I want your city. But our city's going to get ransacked by a dragon in a few days. I don't care, I want your city. What's the point in that? You know, it's like, well, hang on, you guys, you guys got a slightly bigger city, bigger wall. Uh, what if we send our garrison over to you and help you defend against a dragon? You know, it's teamwork. We have to trade supplies because you can't grow it all because dragon attacks. Well, we're having trouble building up um, our water supplies. It's getting poisoned by goblins. Tell you what, you sort our goblins out. We'll help, we'll provide you with food. Simple. But obviously, real life world, we don't have dragons. We don't have goblins. Well, I don't think. I, I believe we may have done at some point, but we don't anymore. If we ever did. And so, yeah. Oh god, it's weird. Um, after that. There's not much else I've done in the manga. I say I've just watched Nanatsu um, this week and watched the first episode of Mao Mao, but I've done nothing else really. So yeah, anime-wise, complete dry week. Game-wise, just been playing Castle Crashers. Um, oh, I also got new glasses. Obviously, a um, nice pair of prescription Gunnar glasses. Um, I'm on my second day of using them now. And yesterday I noticed, you know, obviously, the yellow tinted, you can see that. Um, it's not like, it's very, very vibrant yellow on the um, camera at the moment, but looking through them, it's not that yellow. I mean, it, it's more of a dark, darkening, but not like sunglasses darken. It's like my whites still look white, just with a bit of a, they've been toned down a little bit, they're not as bright. But at the same time, the contrast through them, through the lenses, very I'm able to tell between um, two different like shades very clearly whereas without them and well with my normal glasses it's quite difficult to do so um, and I think that's just because thing I mean I obviously you get yellow glasses for like um, driving a car and for riding a bike and stuff for low light conditions because they basically co um, cr uh, the way the light passes through them it cr creates more contrast between things so see that's going to be factor into it but those things seem to be a little magnified almost. Um, but again, I've got prescription, so that could be part of my prescription. But I think it's just more noticeable because of bigger contrast due to the yellowing. 
out neck. But other than that, yeah, fine. So obviously you've got hopefully on Saturday, is it? Yes. Hopefully Saturday I should put out another two made a video. Or not another, my first two made a video because I'm going to get that edited down later because I've got to go town today. Fancy going to Noodle Bar, so fun. Um, yeah, two made on Saturday. I've got a n game I bought yesterday on Steam, Midweek Madness, which I bought only for one reason. Well, two reasons. It looks like it's going to be hella fun. And also, Let's Playing it, I think, is going to be really not simple, but really enjoyable. It'll be more enjoyable to do that because it's not something I've got to focus really hard on and getting the editing isn't going to be as stressful, I think. I haven't played it yet, so I haven't uh, got that bought yesterday. Get that hopefully recorded tonight after work. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this week. And so, until next week, ciao.